Do INFPs believe in ghosts? Of course they do! Have you ever talked to one online? We are the ghosts. With Halloween around the corner, I thought it would be fun to make a spooky kind of video. And I love talking about the paranormal and mysteries. If I had a deep, dark, spooky voice, and could edit that voice without freaking out, maybe I'd start a dedicated channel to that. According to the first link I found on DuckDuckGo, 63% of adults believe in ghosts. So if a ghost ran for president, they'd win. But just because of a majority of people believe something, doesn't mean it's true. And most people aren't even subscribed to my YouTube channel. So that tells you where the minds of most people are at. If ghosts are real, they sure do a lot of effort to make sure no one can prove it. They'll put on light shows, pull some pranks, and photobomb all your selfies. But the moment a thinker shows up, they're nowhere to be found. Granted, I don't blame them. Thinkers are scary. Ghosts just behave weirdly. They just seem content to stay in the same old houses forever and perform party tricks. If I were to become a ghost, I'd want to visit all the places I couldn't before and was never allowed in. How does one even become a ghost? Imagine if a tabloid reporter became a ghost. They'd be the first ever real ghost writer. No celeb would be safe. How come a skeptic has never died and become a ghost? Certainly Stephen Hawking would want to come back and do an interview on Meet the Press. Just to let us know what happens after death. As you can tell, I think believing in ghosts is kind of silly. Only problem is, believing ghosts don't exist is just as silly. Ghosts aren't like aliens that just started showing up 130 years ago. They go back for as long as we have written record of, and they exist in pretty much every culture, regardless of geographic boundaries. Personally, I've never had an experience where I've needed to call Ghostbusters, but a lot of people have. Ghost sightings are incredibly common, so you're telling me that throughout time, the billions of people who have seen a ghost are either all lying, crazy, or dumb. And I don't know, maybe they are. I don't have the highest opinion of humanity after all. Eyewitness evidence has its problems, sure. But when you have this massive number of witnesses we have for ghosts, ignoring that just seems as silly as believing in ghosts. So if I think both sides seem silly, what do I believe? I have no idea. Personally, I believe pretty much any theory is just as valid till you can disprove it. I think for me, the reason I can't decide is because I don't know if I want to believe ghosts are real or not. On one hand, being a ghost would be so cool. No lines at Disney World? Sign me up. But on the other hand, I'm not a big fan of my creepy next door neighbor watching me on the toilet after he dies. Bad enough when the dog does it. But what do you think? Do you believe in ghosts or not? I'm gonna make a comment response video to all the videos I made in October on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, please visit my Patreon page. If you like this video, you might like my video making fun of the medical industry and self-diagnosis. Or check out whatever video YouTube recommended to you. I've been Trouble Knight, and I'll catch you guys all next time.